Well, hi guys, I'm Celestial Shadows, and welcome back to Princess Evangel. We're on chapter 22, so four more chapters after this one to finish that Ayaka's route. The next day at lunch, Ayaka-san and I met up in the hallway and headed for the dining hall together. We had eaten together many times before, but this was the first time meeting up to do it. It seemed only natural, now that we were properly dating. When it came to school this morning, I found my shoebox crammed full of letters. It was a real shock. Huh? You mean love letters? What are you getting so all upset about? They're all from girls, naturally. Oh, well, of course. But were they really love letters? Well, I guess you could say that. They didn't contain love confessions or anything like that. But... More like... They were sad to see that I was dating you! I'm not sure why they were sad, but personally, I'd prefer it if they'd congratulate me, but... Hmm. That's because you got a lot of secret fans. Oh, Tammy. Tell me a little bit about how you feel right now. What is it like, finally getting the guy you wanted? For heaven's sake, at least wait until we're finished eating. Tamisan put her microphone away obediently and sat down next to Ayaka-san. Anyway, I told you before that you had a lot of secret fans. Oh? Is that why they can't just be happy for me? Well, something like that. The sudden realization that they can never have you fills them with regret. That's human psychology. I guess so. Well, no big deal. By the way, did you get any Masaya-kun? I assume you would get a whole pile of them. No, I didn't get a single one. Really? That's a little surprising. Masaya-san Masaya-san acted indifferent after the photo exhibition, and you've always been surrounded by an army of Vincent's most beautiful girls. So, maybe they had already given up hope. Hmm, I see. Well, it was Risei who brought him in in the first place. You're a pretty lucky guy, you know. But you're the most beautiful of them all, of them all, Yakasan. Oh, oh my! Oh, Wow, I came right out and said it. Well, she is my girlfriend. So, tell me how it feels to get the most beautiful girl in the world. Please wait until we're finished eating. And I guess I'll eat. You certainly do make a show of eating. You're getting broth everywhere. I think that ramen is the best when eating. 
So that it gets broth and everything. What are you ta what are you talking about? Well, you have found certain skills as a journalist. Being able to eat fast is extremely useful. As she spoke, Tammy san finished off her five treasures stir fry soup in the blink of an eye. Then we moved elsewhere so that we could have a serious interview. To the rose garden. Huh? What are you blushing about all of a sudden? Oh, nothing. I was remembering that we kissed here last night. I cleared my throat, my throat and took a seat. Are you going to write an article about this? Of course! Oh, and I'll let you see the draft, so you can make corrections if you want. Hmm. Hmm. Now, tell me honestly, how you feel? Right. I guess it's a little like being reborn. How do you mean? I've always been so happy go lucky, but I feel like I found something to make me go straight. I think everyone here at Vincennes has changed a little since we decided to accept Masaikun as one of us. But I think just maybe I'm the one who's changed the most. As she spoke, she turned to me and gave me a wink. We usually get the approval rating survey on Mondays, but I guess we won't get the results about yesterday right away. For the athletics festival? That's true. We likely won't see a reaction until next week. I can't wait! The athletics festival is such a success! That's right. I had been completely wrapped up in my own affairs, but the athletics festival had been a big success, too. Despite the huge turnout from outsiders, there had been no particular trouble, and everyone had been excited to see the public 10,000 meter race. I hope we win. Ayako-san propped up her propped up her chin on a hand and began to thoughtfully draw circles on the table with her finger. This is the last of the real events, too. Yes, but I believe that we can win. Right! Hey, Masai-kun! Are you free this Saturday? Of course. It occurred to me that since coming to Vincennes, I had never gone and gone out on Saturdays. I was wondering if you'd go out somewhere with me. Sure. Where to? The graveyard. It was such a strange request. It was well before I could answer her. Probably to visit her real mom. Your mom's grave, you mean? Maybe it won't without saying, but Yakuza nodded. I want to introduce her to my boyfriend. Actually, that's just a joke. To be honest, I've never visited her, visited her grave. Not even on the anniversary of her death. I see. It's a compl complicated feeling. I don't have a single memory of her. And I don't feel any connection to her as a mother. 
不倫とかねそういうことをした人なんだと思うとなんとなく嫌なものがあったアド,アドルトリー knowing she was the kind of person who would do that turn me off the whole thing でももうそんなこと気にしなくてもいいかなと思ってさ But now I'm thinking I shouldn't let something like that bother me Maybe I turned her off because she feared she shared the same quality. In that case, it seemed like visiting her mother's grave was a sign of her personal growth. Okay, Saturday then. Right. Sorry to ask you to do, to do something so boring with me. No, I was free either way. I'll think of it as a date. That's a pretty morbid date. Okay, then we'll head out out of school after lunch. Roger that. Really is a morbid date. To October 29th. And so, the day of our date arrived. And it's apparently autumn. We finished eating, changed, then headed for the gate. I didn't usually have business down this way, so it had been a while since we walked the path. A figure moved out in front of the gate quickly. Mm -hmm. Ayaka, Kimiko. Huh? Oh, it's you, Ayaka. Salutations! I thought you'd been awfully quiet for a while. Going out again? Yes, going out again. And you're going and you're going with her, Okanagi Masaya? Yes. Come on, I know there's nothing I can do to stop you anyway. I'm sorry. Anyway, salutations. Yaka sun smiled as brightly as she could. I see. So that's how you keep getting out. Right. After all, I didn't have a lot to do here before you came along. Although, there wasn't much fun to do when I went out either. What did you do out there? Nothing. I'd look, I'd look at clothes, see movies, but it's boring to do but do it by myself. Hmm, well, after we visit her grave, do you want to have a proper date? <laughs> sure, let's do it! We got off the bus, the bus, the bus at the station and transferred to another. All in all, the trip took us about an hour. It was Saturday and the weather was nice, but the graveyard was deserted. At least there's... it's nice and clean. A few flowers. A cold wind blew through the gravestones. We were close to November, and it felt like autumn was taking a deeper hold. Winter was coming. Mm. yaga san started walking around, holding the flowers she had bought to the temple. Where was it again? I came here once before. A long time ago. Take your time to find it. There's no need to rush. Mm. Right. In the end, we had to check them each individually. So it took us ten minutes before we found it. The name Saiki Tome was carved into the gravestone. Normally it would be a fa family grave. But this... Just as her own name on it. Saiki was my uh, Saiki was my father's old surname. He took mother's name after their marriage. Which meant that despite Tony Sun's indiscretion, she had remarried remained married to him until the day she died. This grave just has her name on it. Well, 
I guess they couldn't put her in the family grave for some reason. I don't know for sure, though. There's something a little lonely about it. Mm. Yeah. It feels like she was driven here. Alone. Because she had nowhere else to go. It's dirty. I have to clean it all. Yoko-san walked over to gather some water. I placed a hand on some on the stone surface. When I lifted it, my fingertips were blackened. It was likely that nobody visited the grave. I felt a renewed sense of loneliness about it. After cleaning off the grave, Yoko-san spent a long time in front of it. Her hands clasped together. Seeing her from behind, hunched over, she looked smaller than usual. Lonely from behind was the expression that came to mind. I had felt the same way on the day of the athletics festival when I reached the guardian tree. Her back couldn't hide her feelings the way she could, her face could. She was transparent like this. Maybe that's why she seemed so lonely. Okay, let's go! Sure. We were walking back side by side when I spoke up. Um, Ayaka-san? I swear I'm going to make you happy. I know it's sudden, but... Is, is that... a proposal? Oh, no, I, I didn't mean... What? Don't be so wishy-washy. She poked me in the side. That's just what I was thinking, is all. I want to make this person happy. You make me sound like a tragic beauty. That's actually what I've been thinking, so I couldn't think of a response. I just smiled awkwardly. Of course, the main reason was just that I loved her. Hey, aren't you going to make a comment about me referring to myself as a beauty? No, you're right after all. But, but, I am happy. I feel like I've been looking for someone like you my whole life. I said it as a joke, but why don't we make it true? Huh? Miyaka-san took my arm and pulled me back to the gravestone. I think I will introduce you to my mom. Let her know that you're my boyfriend. I left the temple and wandered around the station without any destination in particular. Side by side. It really is nice to be here with a date. Just walking around is fun. Yeah. It really was boring before. The things that made it hard for me to fit in at Vincennes made it hard for me to make friends outside it too. Maybe I should have just gotten a pen pal, like like Ritsuko. It's more in this day and age, though. Sending letters instead of emails. <laughs> but it's the kind of thing she'd do. Oh, hey! That's the lingerie shop we all went to before! She smiled and hugged my arm a little tighter. As she did. My arm brushed against her soft chest. Want to have another look? By yourself? What? You're not coming with me? I didn't like the way the shop clerks looked at me last time. I don't think that's because there was a man there. I think it was... Seeing one man with four women that made them scowl at you. 
Really? They were like, who's this playboy? I guess. Hmm. So, if we went in as a proper couple, I don't think they'd treat you that way. Maybe so. But there's still something weird about a guy busting into a woman's underwear store, I think. Come on! Lots of girls want to make sure they buy something their boyfriends like. Do couples really go to stores like that? I don't know, but if you wanted to. No, I like the ordinary stuff. Really? It's what? It's what? Eh, it's what? It's what? It's like missing another apostrophe. Yes. It's what's underneath that matters to me. I see. Do you not like pervy guys? I don't like pervy guys. Oh. But I might like a pervy guy if he's you, Masai-kun. You're blushing. So are you. I guess I am. Her chest shook as she laughed, which pressed her further against my arm. At last, I spoke up. yoko san it's touching. She seemed amused by something. What is? Your chest. <laughs> oh? You really think I didn't know that? Uh, you mean you were doing that intentionally? <laughs> of course I was. As she spoke, she pulls on my arm a little more. I felt it sink into the deep softness. <laughs> Is it okay? We are dating now, after all. Y yeah, of course it is. Do you, re do you remember the first time we linked arms like this? Um, had to be. I want to say the camp thing, but I don't think that's true. It's probably before that. I don't remember. I couldn't remember right away. I was sure I had felt this somewhere before, but... It was, the sum it was at the summer festival! Because it was a date! Oh yeah. Right. That's right, we did do that. I mean, I was so happy we got to go on this date today. Here, let's link arms. Huh? Arms? It's a date, after all. We can do that much. That was just like when I held your hand. I tried to get my feelings of love through to you, but... Do you think I'm a shameless woman? Not really. I think it's okay, as long as you're d doing it out of love. Yeah. I guess you really are worried about that kind of thing, aren't you? He thought for a moment, then nodded. So, you don't want to do stuff like sex? Wow, that's I just... straight out. Now that we were dating, it was important that I asked her these things up front. She, she thought again. And this time she shook her head. How to put it, I, because of what happened between my parents, I don't want to do anything disloyal. Disloyal? Cheating and adultery and stuff. One of the main reasons I rebelled against mother? was because of things like that. Do you, do you remember what I said that... Do you remember what I said that morning? I called her a home wrecker. I remember. 
We were pretty intense that morning. It was a mean thing to say, but that's how I truly feel. Mother started dad through an adulterous relationship. I guess I must sound pretty prudish right now. Despite appearances, you're pretty pure too, Ayaka-san. Oh? Really? Well, it's true that you are my first boyfriend. My first and final love. Is it funny to say something like that? Funny? Why? It's just such a maidenly thing to say. Of course. Hayaka-san was a maiden. I'm a guy, but I feel the same way. <laughs> you did promise at the grave that you would make me happy. Yes. Well, you seem like a sincere guy. So I think it will work out. Though for the longest time, I thought you were the aimless type. I was afraid of that. <laughs> you, you knew? <sighs> well, it was easy when all my closest friends were beautiful women. <laughs> Had a hard time picking, huh? I nodded. But I know I can't go on like that. That's why I decided to stop being aimless. <laughs> Don't forget that determination, okay? Yeah, I'll try not to forget. And my game crashed, surprisingly. What am I expect to where it was? Yeah, I'll try not to forget. And to the 30th, probably. And let me save. Just in case. There we go. And back. On Monday, we had our weekly presentation of the survey of the survey result. It was our first approval rating survey that took the athletics festival into account, so my own hopes were very high. Now to present the results! We've had a huge increase! With 138 votes on our side! Whoa! Wow! 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 We all shouted out at once. That's amazing! Is that... Yeah, that's amazing! It's our first increase through the whole second term! Yes, this has to be from the Athletics Festival. That's great! I can see the light in the tunnel! I feel like I'm mixing up her voice now, but I won't. Hmm. The White Lily Society is really struggling. What do you mean struggling? We're just getting started. Well, you only have 138 votes. It's still a long way from the 232 you need for the majority. Well, it's true that it'll be a hard fight. The only event we have left is Chant Day No in December. And what is that? An event held on the day of the closing ceremony for second term. The students gather in the cathedral to hold a mass. The mass is not official, however. The students merely consider it an 
an entertaining Christmas party. Oh, sounds great. Chanting all? What's that? I think it's Christmas carol in English. We sing songs and stuff, but it's mostly just a Christmas party. Wow. I didn't know you did that. Well, it's technically a mission school, after all. We can't just skip Christmas. So it's on the 24th? No, we'll be on winter vacation by the 24th. This year, it's... When again? Nyaka-san turned to Ritsuko-chan. The 17th. I'm not surprised you don't remember, sister. Well, I know it's the event everyone looks forward to, but I never had much interest in it myself. But this year, it should have some meaning to you. Huh? Because Masaya-sama is here. Yeah, because I'm like, taken aback. I wasn't sure what chant they know was exactly, so the exchange was impenetrable to me. What about me exactly? Chant they know contains an event known as Tim's Day Confession. Wait, did she confess your love? An event that takes place during Chant they know couples who have pledged their love exchange rosaries. The term translates to Time of Confession. It means time of confession. Time of confession. At Chentino, we gather in the cathedral and exchange rosaries in front of everyone with the person we care about. That is the custom known as Tim's Day Confession. Huh. The girls have been seen really like traditions like that, huh? They do. I've never seen it. Since I've never had much interest in who was hooking up with whom. But, I see. This year, she rumored when turned to gaze into my eyes. You got a rosary. You got a rosary when you first came here, right? You know, I think I did. I was pretty sure it had come in a collapsed case of some sort. I had had shoved it somewhere in my desk. Sister, do you still have your rosary? Probably. It's not like I had anyone to exchange it with. Then it's perfect. Isn't it? I know it. Well, want to take part in the Tim's Day thing? But Ayaka sounds usually hesitant. What? You don't want to? Might it be that you've lost your rosary? <laughs> I'm sure I didn't lose it. Well, it might be a little moldy. Don't say something so sacri 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 yeah. sacrilegious. There we go. But sister, you don't want to take part? You don't like events like that? No, it's just... I feel like I want to belong. What do you mean? 
スタンドコンフェッションはそれをみんなにアピールしたいわけなのよ。Confessing in front of an audience means that Tim's Day Confession is at least partly about showing, putting on a show for the people. で、アピールする以上は。But more than that, more than that, 祝福してほしいはずじゃない So that, the, that people can congratulate them, right? So what? I'm not sure if they would. For me. What do you mean? You think people want to be happy for you? She nodded. But why? It's obvious. You're such a wonderful man. Ayaka-sama would be made the object of tremendous jealousy. <laughs> well, there's that too. That was a joke, of course. But even though she put it behind her, when you arrived, my sister does have a history of mischief. Mischief? Do you, do you remember what happened at the evening star gathering? Huh. And that other girl yelled at her. She had been teasing someone, and Mitsuko chan had scolded her for it. But you haven't done much of that since you began you. Yeah. Since you began your third year. So I don't believe there should be any cause for concern. Anyway, it's a special occasion. As long as we're together for it, we should take part. <laughs> That's true. If you want to, Masai kun, I will. Sure. <laughs> and maybe? People will be so happy for us that it raises the White Lily Society's approval rating. Knowing that people will probably bring it down. That might be asking too much. What a mean thing to say! But. If the White Lily Society loses, it might make it easier for you to see Masai-san after you graduate. I tend to stop for a moment. The subject of Ayaka-san's graduation seemed to be one she didn't want people to touch on. But Ayaka-san's expression went unchanged. Oh? I think it would be the same in the end. As a former student, I could come and go as I please, couldn't I? I think it would be better for you to enjoy your college life properly. What a mean thing to say! As the days pass, I slowly started to become conscious of timing. Timing? From my first sexual experience with the Yakusan. What? She'd agreed to that? Oh well. No matter how pure I was, I still wanted to do it with the girl that I loved. Well, at least you're honest. But even though we were officially a couple now, things had never gone that way with the, with the Yakasan. We held hands, linked arms, and kissed from time to time, but it had never gone past those light touches. There had never been any kind of seductive air about us. The need for our bodies to become one. I knew the reason why. We talked about it before. Okay, when the time comes, I will be the one to say it. Yes, please do. In other words, Ayaka-san was waiting for me to be the one to bring it up. I knew that, but at the same time, I didn't have any experience with saying these things. So it stayed on my mind constantly, until one day... Oh, that's right. Hey, Masaya-kun, about the 24th of this month? It's my birthday. 
And this chapter's called Birthday Present. Please don't tell me that's her birthday present. Eh. Oh, really? I almost dropped my spoon. It was pretty thoughtless of me to not have learned her birthday before now. Happy birthday. Thanks. <sighs> I guess I'm one year closer to becoming an old lady. I think the real old ladies will get mad at you if you if they heard that. <laughs> Is that mean? Huh? Is your birthday November? Yeah, it is. What about it? Well, it's just... For some reason, I thought you were born around April. What's that supposed to mean? Hmm? Maybe I got some bad information from, from someone. I don't remember for sure, but somehow I got in the impression that Yakusan was born in April. I'm not sure why. My birthday is on November 24th. I'm sure of that. I know it. Then we have to celebrate. Arigato. Thanks. Is there anything you'd want for a present? Mm, hmm. Nothing in particular. I'd rather have a memory than something physical. I'd like it if we could spend all day on the 24th together. Alright. Oh, I know. I looked around the room. It was not time, so naturally, the den hall was full of people. I suggested we take our trees out to the rose garden. It would be crowded with people during the warm, warmer seasons, but for now, it was perfectly quiet. What's going on? Listen to Yakuza. What? what? Uh, about your present. But, right? I looked around again. There's no one there. Okay. This was my chance to say it. Would you accept me? Huh? Huh? Yakuza stared at me. But with, even without repeating myself, she understood what it meant. The sweat felt hot and cold on my body, and I waited. Wordlessly for her response. <laughs> that was not the response he was probably expecting. She laughed out loud. Hey, that's me. <laughs> it, it's just that line. It's usually what the girls say, isn't it? Well, I guess that's true. She was laughing. I look like she I had gotten through. Well, maybe. It's just, since you said it earlier that you'd rather have a memory. Her laughter died off, she wiped her eyes, and a moment later, her expression turned dead serious. Hmm. Hmm. A memory. Huh? It would be a memory for me too, of course. I'll say it again, just to be clear. Ayaka-san, on your birthday, I want to make love to you. I... I understood what you meant the first time. Oh, right. But... I'm happy. I was... Waiting for you to say something like that? In that moment, my heart gave a leap. The strange discomfort I had felt on learning the date of her birthday felt like nothing now. That's right! You can't do something like that alone! So in that respect, having you as a birthday present? Might be nice. Well, I'm sure that that's the kind of thing the girls usually say. <laughs> Cold sweat formed on my body as I remembered the ridiculous way I had chosen to put it. Well, but Masaya-kun, 
I remember that great potty you had when you, we took those pictures. It's a pretty high quality present. <laughs> Just kidding. I really am turning into an old lady. That's, that's no laughing matter. But, yeah, it's just an occasion. You better make sure we don't blow it. B blow it? That's true. That was a possibility. That was a version after all. I wanted my first time to be a great experience and not a failure. I guess that's how versions always felt. Hey, can I come to your room tonight? Well, sure. Of course you can. Then, we can practice for the big show? The big show could be a euphemism for sexual intercourse, but Ayaka-san might not have been using it in that sense. Practice? She had been talking about sex. She had to be. When I thought about it, I felt a strange feeling inside, like a jolt from the pit of my stomach. Well, see you later! Salutations! And the Hayek's son didn't finish long, but left with her train hand. Last ended, the sun went down, we ate dinner, and at last we had free time. For some reason, the events of the day seemed to pass slower than usual. I heard a very faint knock on my door. C come in! My voice sounded strange, higher pitched than usual. Hayek's son slipped in, a shy smile on her face. Salutations. Hey. We sat down next to each other in the bed. Neither of us spoke. Some time passed between us in silence. In the quiet room, I was more aware than usual of the sound of my heartbeat. I guess I'd better make the first move. I had just put my hand on her hip one. Listen, Masai-kun. Oh, yes? I removed my hand reflexively. I accidentally looked at me in mild amusement and leaned against me. So I reached out again. I put my hand on her hip. Akasan leaned her weight on me, increasing the air of intimacy between us. To be honest, I'm a little nervous. I feel the same way. It's our first time, after all. Ah, right. There's that, too. Was there something else for you? There's another reason I've been thinking about my mother so much since that kiss. Huh? Back in that apartment, you tried to assault me while I was drunk. Remember? Y yeah, um, sorry about that. <laughs> no, it's fine. That's in the past. When it happened, there was something that really shocked me. Shocked you? I trembled for a minute. Afraid of what she might say, but the words that came out of her mouth were something I could never have expected. For a moment? Just for a moment, you know? I maybe hope that it would happen. Don't get the wrong idea, okay? It's only because it's you. Because you're the man I love, so... I hear you. So, that really shocked you? Yakusan nodded. You weren't in your right mind. And we weren't even dating yet. But for some reason, I... Just for a moment, I was going to let it happen. 
So I thought, maybe, maybe, I really was a slut. Yaka-san. And that's why I started feeling so guilty about the idea of having sex. But that's not right. It's not bad if it's the person you're in love with. Masai-kun, do you want me? Yeah. Me too. I want you. So, is it wrong for us to do this? I don't think it's wrong at all. No, I'm sure it's not wrong. So, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's a natural feeling. So there can't be anything wrong about it. She whispered the words as if to herself and looked up into my face. Masaya-kun, I love you. I love you too, Miyaka-san. When you kiss me, I feel so happy. Like my legs are going to give out under me. I thought it was cute how she blushed when she said things like that. Since it's going to be my birthday present, I don't want to end up having to stop halfway through because I freaked myself out. So, um, I thought it would be best for me to get used to it. A little. Practice, right? So, you got a... the, that's right. And time skip. Thankfully. To November 24th. Her birthday. In preparation for the day, we... We practiced diligently, of course. And at last, the day arrived. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Happy birthday to you. I laid down the birthday cake I'd snuck out of school to buy and sang the obli obligatory song. I think that song looked a little bashful, but still happy. And one person clapping. Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you. This is the first time anyone besides my sister has ever sung for me. Hiyaka san blew out the candles with a long breath. This cake is amazing. It's even got my name written on the chocolate bar. Did you order this just for today? Yeah, lavish decor makes birthday cakes, so I got them. Thanks for going to so much trouble. And I probably still have all that lottery money left over. Well, most of it. Some of it. And enough to get by. <laughs> well, that's the least I could do. Oh, my. So modest, even though we're just about to start the main event. Yeah. We changed the smile, blushing. We split up the cake, which was piled high with colorful kiwi and strawberry. Mm. Oh, hmm. Delicious. Lavish decor really does make the best cakes. It really is delicious. That green tea cake was delicious too. Ah, 
の時の Oh, you mean that one? Yeah, the one she gave us after and thinks of saving her from being kidnapped. Yes. Yes, well, to be honest, I was so focused on your fingers, I barely even tasted it. The memories. The only picture we ever saw was eyes. I completely forgot about that. That really takes me back. It's already been half a year since we met. That is a long time. Well, a lot of time skips. Hanko-san stopped eating. And she gazed into my face. When Risa said she was bringing a boy here, I just thought she's doing something crazy again. まさか自分も白百合会に入るとは思わなかったし、ましてや本気で手伝おうって気持ちになるなんて夢にも思っていなかった。I never thought I'd join the White Lily Society, and I never thought I'd try to help them for real. Out of my wildest dreams. And most of all, I never thought that the boy I barely knew would become the most important person in my life. If I had a time machine and went back and told my past self that, I think she'd just fall over laughing. It's so strange. I feel so grateful to Rise. I nodded. It had certainly been under the strange circumstances, but if I hadn't met Rise on that night, I wouldn't have had the past seven months. Back then, I didn't even have a place to sleep. Now I had a home. I had friends. And more than anything, I had a girl that I loved. And she loved me too. It was a deeply moving thought. Masaya-kun. She sat up straight suddenly. So did I. I'm looking forward to seven more months and more. Likewise. After the birthday present was over, well, they sat by side on the bed, snuggling. Is it not too hot? Hmm, huh. it's fine. I can feel your heartbeat, Masaya-kun. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Feeling someone else's heartbeat was a strange sensation. I'd love to just fall asleep right here. Would that be bad? A little. I'm so exhausted. Hmm. I figured you'd sleep well if you're exhausted. I'm exhausted too. <laughs> well, that's tr that is true. But you'll see what happens if I fall asleep like that. Huh? I'll be so exhausted, my mouth will hang open, and I'll make all sorts of unladylike unlady faces. I think you're worrying too much. No, it's true. I don't want my lovely boyfriend to see me like that. Alright. But, you can go to sleep if you want, Masaya-kun. Um, but... After you're asleep, I'll sneak out. I'm not sure if I can sleep like this. You'll be fine. I'm betting you're way, way more tired than I am. <laughs> Couldn't argue there. 
The truth was, even just talking like this, I felt like I was drifting into the deep abyss of sleep. Yeah. Well, good night then. Good night. I love you, Masaya kun. I love you too. And that was only halfway through that chapter. And nothing, just wetness. <laughs>